Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, hi. Um, so before I get started, you know, this, this might be my last time doing comedy because um, I'm not funny anymore. But, um, okay, that's rude. <laughs> it's hurtful. Okay, um, but, like, don't get too sad because I do have some of my, like, old, actually funny comedy sets online that you can watch. This isn't really a plug. It's mostly just the start of an explanation. After the last house show, um, I had a friend who was really disappointed that she missed it, so I told her where she could go to watch all of my comedy. And she was trying to talk to me about it afterwards, and she was like, my favorite one was the one where you, like, you talked a lot about being single. Well, I guess you talked a lot about being single in all of them. And, and like, okay, yeah, that's true. Right? Like, that was a decision that I made, but also rude. So I feel, like, determined this time to not talk about being single or trying and failing to date, like, at all. Um, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, man. If I ever do end up in a relationship, <laughs> my comedic ability is going to plummet. <laughs> Um, Kat, you kind of just made a joke about being single, so I think you already failed. Um, false, because my comedy site didn't just start until just now. Ha, joke's on you. Hi, hey, how's it going? What's up? My name's Kat. I'm a four, uh, both in Enneagram and appearance, which is a tough combination. Because being a four in Enneagram means I want, like, a lot of attention, and being a four in appearance means I hardly get any. Um, so it's a hard knock life for me. I'm just kidding. I'm like super cute. I'm basically an 11. The scale only goes to 10, but my vanity exceeds it. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I definitely deserve a lot more attention than I get, and it's still a hard knock life for me. Um, yeah, okay, so if anyone was like, I don't know what Enneagram is, I hear you, right? It does sound like maybe a medical procedure that involves putting a scope somewhere you don't want it and slash or that thing where you have a bunch of shapes that you're trying to fit into a square. Um, but it's actually neither of those things. Um, it's like a way of categorizing personalities. Anyway, I don't think it was super essential to know what that is for the joke. Um, and also that joke was mostly for my friend Melinda, who I love and who loves Enneagram. She'll be up here later and you can all ask her about it. And we can take up the entire tiny escalator set, just talking about personality types, what numbers you are, we can do some math with personality. I don't know if that's a thing, but it should be. Can you do math with personalities in Enneagram? Is that? Yeah, that's a thing. We're gonna make it. Um, anyway, I don't know how to tra like transition from that joke to like any others. Uh, and this isn't an essay for a college class, so I'm just not going to, right? <laughs> and I can do that because I have the mic, and I can do what I want. That's also the best thing about being an adult, like. Okay, yeah, sure, there's still a bunch of stuff that you probably don't like doing that you're going to do anyway because you don't want to get, like, fired or fined or jailed or whatever. Um, but there's also probably a lot of stuff that, like, you don't want to do, and so you can just be like, I don't care, I'm not doing it. Whereas, like, as a kid, someone would make you. And that's great, especially if you're like me and there's a lot of stuff you don't want to do, right? Like, for instance, do I want to go to a baseball game? No. That sounds like it's outside. Uh, I'm pretty sure all they have to eat is like hot dogs and nachos. I don't like either of those things. And uh, some hot. I'm not in. Do I want to go camping? Ew, no, never. The outside is where the heat and bugs are. Okay? There's like a theme here. I want to go inside. I don't know about you. But, okay. Um, do I want to go to your party? Um, I don't know. Am I in love with you? Did you save my life? Is Ricky Gervais going to be there? If not, no, I don't. Sorry. Um, do I have plans after work? Probably not. Do I want to hang out after work? Also, no, probably not. <laughs> the, the opposite is also true, though, which is nice. Like, there's probably a bunch of stuff that, as a kid, either your parents or your teachers or, like, I don't know, whatever adults in your life, wouldn't let you do, but now you're an adult, so like you can do it if you want, and that's great. Like, for instance, should I eat 15 brownies for dinner? No, no, never. Like, that's never a good idea, unless like, unless someone's like, this is your last opportunity to eat brownies, then go for it. Eat like all you want, right? Um, but otherwise, yeah, no, you probably shouldn't. 
But would I eat 15 brownies for dinner? I don't know. Maybe, if I felt like it. But also, and this is great too, I could say, you guys, I'm going to eat 15 brownies for dinner. And then I could eat two and be like, mm, I think I'm done. And the rest of you could be like, um, Kat, you said that you were going to eat 15. So I feel like you need to eat 13 more. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And I could be like, no, what am I, 12? I don't have to listen to your peer pressure. <laughs> okay, also, like, should I go home and rewatch all of Parks and Recreation tonight? No, okay? My mom always said, no more than two hours of screen time a day. She never held me to that, but she always said it. And mother knows best, right? But would I go home and rewatch all of Parks and Recreation tonight? Yeah, maybe. It's a hella good show, right? I'd probably start at season three because I don't really want to watch the first two again. And uh, there's probably not enough hours in the evening to get through it, but I can make that attempt. And I would. I totally would. Yeah. The same is true for, like, things, right? Like, there's a lot of stuff that my parents, like, wouldn't let me have as a kid. But now I'm grown and I have my own money so I can get it if I want. Like, name brand cereal, right? Or, like... <laughs> My mom really likes that joke because she would not get us any name brand cereal ever. In fact, she would do a thing. This isn't even part of my set. This is just, I'm like telling her secrets. And she would do a thing where she would like have a box of like the name brand Honey Nut Cheerios. And she would put like store brand Cheerios in it. And she would mix it three parts like regular with one part Honey Nut. Like... <laughs> Like, she thought we would fall for that. And I think we did, because we were done. She's, like, nodding. She's, like, yep, you guys were idiots because you were children. <laughs> anyway, well, what joke was, like, going to make? Oh, okay, so, like, should I should I go invest $50 in an Easy Bake Oven? Um, no, I absolutely should not, right? Like, I have access to a real oven that I can use unsupervised because I'm grown. Uh, and an easy bake oven is pretty literally an attempt to like bake white or wet powder with like a light bulb. So anyway, nobody needs it ever. My parents probably made a good call not getting me one. But am I going to go out and get an easy bake oven? I don't know. I hope so. I keep writing Santa about it and he never delivers. <laughs> Side note. This is stand-up comedy, right? So I'm talking hyperbolically. Like, I don't want anyone to listen to this joke and be like, now I know the perfect gift for Katrina. She really wants an easy bake oven. I don't. I would not use one. And, like, the fact of owning it would kind of stress me out, right? Um, I feel like there was this narrow window of time when I would have really, like, gotten a lot of joy and truly delighted in an easy bake oven, and I missed it. And that's what's lame about being an adult, right? Like, being a kid is so much fun, right? You get to, like, pretend all the time and, like, play with stuff and, like, make things all the time. It's great. It's awesome. And then you become an adult and you're trying to make believe and suddenly it's lying and everyone's mad at you. <laughs> or, like, parties. Parties as a kid are so much fun, right? You get to go on a scavenger hunt. There's a bunch of games where you're, like, throwing stuff and pinning tails places. And then you get like a bag full of like trinkets and candy to reward you for socializing. And then you become an adult and a party is basically a bunch of people in a living room and like maybe there are chips. And that is a serious downgrade in fun, you guys. <laughs> That's like, I don't know why we do that to ourselves. Or like even just hanging out with people, right? Like when you're a kid and you go over to somebody's house, it's so much fun. It's like you pretend you're on the Oregon Trail, you play Foursquare in their driveway, they pr their parents probably bought name brand cereal. <laughs> you like watch a bunch of Mary Kate and Ashley movies and then like color some pictures and it's so much fun. Then you become an adult and it's basically like you ask them about their kids, they ask you about your job and blah blah blah. This would all be a whole lot more fun if we were drawing pictures right now, Angela. Okay, full disclosure, I actually do draw a lot of pictures when I hang out with people. Uh, that's because I write and illustrate a webcomic and it takes a lot of time. So like if I'm going to spend time with people, I also have to draw. But it's kind of a bummer for me because like I'm the only one drawing. So it feels less like an activity and more like I'm being rude. <laughs> and so I feel kind of bad about it. But not super bad because I am still gracing them with my presence. Um, and I would probably prefer being like at home eating my name brand cereal, watching Parks and Recreation, <laughs> drawing, looking at my rabbit. Good time. Okay. Who heard that joke and was like, mm, cat's a little antisocial. Anyone? I need you to raise your hands, right? Yeah, you guys? 
<laughs> you don't know what antisocial means, right? Antisocial is like, like you'll do whatever, in, like without regard to other people's thoughts and feelings and wants and needs um, to achieve your means. So it's a lot more like a sociopath. And I know that's not me, you guys, because the other day, by the other day, I mean like two months ago, um, a fly landed on my desk. So I swatted at it, thinking it would like fly away. That's in its name, right? <laughs> but it didn't, so it died. And I still feel bad about it. <laughs> like, it's a fly, it wasn't hurting anyone, right? And like, okay, it landed on my desk, but it's a fly, so it doesn't like recognize possession. So, anyway, point is, I'm not antisocial, and not asocial either, which is when you don't really wanna hang out with anyone. Because I do like hanging out with people if the conditions are right. Which I mean, like if it's not too early in the day, or too late in the day. If I'm well fed, and well rested, my hair looks good, I haven't talked to too many people already, then yeah, let's hang out. Otherwise, no, leave me alone. <laughs> this is like honestly a good gauge of like telling how well I like you. Like if ever you recommend that we hang out, and then I don't just immediately like pretend to have food poisoning, then like, yeah, you're probably, like, if you've ever seen me twice in the same month, shoot. Like, sometimes I can't even get myself to hang out with me twice in a month. Because I'll be like, no, I have food poisoning. Anyway, it's been really great talking to you guys, but I have to go. Because uh, I have food poisoning. <laughs> Bye.